AJ. I'm coming. Oh, how typical we're playing a flashback. Still in cutscene.
Oh, this is that car that we're in in the, in the beginning, right? And then they crashed it and whatnot. I remember that. Okay, what is this scene? What purpose does it serve other than just eating up screen time? Back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Gotta go. Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. But it's okay. We're survivors. And the first rule of survival is never go alone. Never go, go alone. Clem? <laughs> yeah, that's right. AJ? I'm so sorry for everything. I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home, together. And I'll never leave you again.
I make a promise you can't keep stream. Good girl. Is you Rosie? Puppy. Goodest girl in the world. Coordination, baby. I'm gonna go put this beer away. Stay here and keep watch. <laughs> what is V and M for Violet and Mini, I think? Nothing good. I should tell Willie this is here in case we need more bombs. Getting kind of cold. I'll bring some sticks and stuff so next I guess time. Each chap, each episode has an achievement fall apart. We all are collectibles. <laughs> it looks like a bad place to sleep. Scripted. Puppy. Yes. Good girl. Oh. I know exactly what that is. Always aim for the head. Sorry, Tin. I know. Me too.
Let's go home. Puppy. Let's go home. Shit. Oh. Got a hat. Yeah, that was all scripted. I missed the first QTE because, like, I always hit the right stick when it, t when it says go a direction instead of the left stick, so I hit them both sometimes. What you doing there, goofball? Whoa, <laughs> easy there. You're out of bed. I'm You're so walking. confused. And, and you had wood arm legs. Crutches. She should know. Crutches. I found your hat. It was in the creek down by the shack. I thought I wouldn't get it, but Rosie jumped right in and got it out of the water. It's all wet now. That's definitely. 
definitely seen better days. No. You know what? You keep it if you want it. No, no, no. And by no, it's not a mad no, but more like plot hole no. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you too. Come with me. I want to show you something. She should be dead. But we'll get into that at the end. So, what do you think? It's, it's for me? Yep. Willie helped me put it together. Come on, let me push you. Best Clem. It's gonna get cold. Come on, let's go eat. We're coming. Put it straight into his stomach. He didn't straight. Yeah, one of the one lips past the tongue. What what is it called? What's that saying called? Like he just put it straight into his stomach. He didn't even let it get to his his throat. He just put it in his stomach. <laughs> Idiot. She's missing the pinky and she's missing a leg. Match made in heaven. Yeah, that's the spot. A sim says he saw 10, 15 of them, a little bit past the old safe zone. I want you to go. You're the boss. We need to know who they are. Maybe even see if they're willing to trade. Just keep your distance until you can make a call. Who, who are? A group of survivors out beyond the old safe zone. Some kind of caravan. Are they bad people? You don't know. <clears throat> How about you back me up and we'll find that out together? Word on the street is you're a good running buddy. Best. Uh, 
Aren't you still mad I killed him? The thing you said on the bridge. That he was messing up all the time. It wasn't something new, you know. Ten got himself or other people into trouble all the time. Long before you guys got here. He was always so lost. He lived in a world that just isn't there. You know? And that's why I tried to look after him. But when I was pulling him away from the walkers and Minnie, I could also see he just wasn't there anymore. Mm. So you're mad, but sad. Can I be that for a while? Yeah, it's okay. This is the part where you tell me you'll be really, really careful. <laughs> Okay. Just, just getting tired. Hey, walk with me a sec. So like I said, I was, even when it happened, did he even kill her? Oh yeah, I thought he missed. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, it's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this, I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. I'm gonna need these to go anywhere, and if we ever had to run, it wouldn't be pretty. At least you're not a monster. Or dead. Anything's better than that. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget that. Oh, I'm sure you'll remind me. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All this. It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was, we'll see. And your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought and hoped you didn't notice. Hoped we'd find something before you did. Did I do a good job? You tried really hard. That's all that matters, right? <sighs> it's part of it. A big part. in the barn you didn't listen to me and if you had i'd be dead you should be i'm gonna be totally like i was right I'm to be trust totally you honest. you back should, in the cave you should be to make the hard calls even when i get into that at the end you'll have to be strong for the both of us <clears throat> you made it so i can so thank you for everything you're welcome for everything. So you say this is a script then, because even if I told him to let me turn, he probably would have amputated a leg in anyway.
<laughs> Walking Dead, final season, still not bitten. Skybound. <clears throat> okay, okay. In you go. It's crazy. I wonder who you used to be. Hmm. Looks like it tastes bad. I won't lick it. Mm -hmm. I won't. <laughs> Lisa said, mm hmm. I don't know how this works. This seems like really hard drawing. I'll ask Clem later. Why did Clem collect so many skulls? Gotcha. It's like Lewis in a box. <laughs> Puppy. I wonder if you're hungry for bugs. Omar didn't want this back. He said, well, it didn't work, did it? <laughs> You're so cool, Disco Broccoli. <laughs> like, the coolest. <laughs> Beat Nick. Even if I could eat you, I wouldn't do it. You're too cool. Clem never explained what is disco. Damn. Oh, I'm just getting myself <laughs> hungry. Jesus, how many lines? Okay, I'm done. Just pull a cauliflower out of your ass. Hey there, Alvin Jr. You ready to rock? Is he having fun there, kiddo? Never gonna die, huh? That's lucky. Literally never gonna die. It's so cool looking. I wonder if it has magic powers. I'm trying to think of the name of that, the, how that chant goes in Dragon Tales. Nah. The Flower Dragon with Word of Par is the last part of that. Oh, I forget the name, I forget how that chant goes. Clem said she'd teach me to ride someday. I gotta get bigger, fast. Alright, we're done. <laughs> gotcha, puppy. I'm coming. Thank you for making this game, dude. Thank you, Skybound. <sighs> there you go, stream shit. Uh, Savior. Could be Act 3.
Oh yeah, we got this. You win six four percent chance of making a better decision. Like it was coming to an end, so I had to, you know. You win six four percent of play like violate the name score. So
I hope this song is can be saved for the end looking at that on the far right shit yeah once again skybound thank you for making this game and everybody in walking dead uh universe the creators uh scott not scott called i'm about to, i was about to quote five 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 nights at freddy's uh what's his name it's gimple robert gimple get his name Anyway, my one and only thing before I end this for YouTube, before I cut it off for YouTube, is, uh, okay. Now, you see how Clementine's leg got amputated, right? And that supposedly saved, well, that saved her, obviously. Um, let me go into detail here. When she got bit, it was, like, late in the night. Like, they were just leaving the cave, and they found Violet, and they got through that, every, that tobacco at the bridge, blah, blah, blah. Um, she got bit. Like when she was climbing the thing, the rocks or whatever. So then from that point when she got up to walk off and she was walking with AJ and whatnot, that was at least an, it was, that was at least an hour or two later. And you can see in Clem's face that she was getting pale, which is a symptom of turning or whatever. So at that point, the infection from her getting bitten her leg circulated through her entire body at that point. Right? So she should have turned. And here's why. Because in the first season, I mean, in the first, yeah, the first game, the Walking Dead game, whether he amputate Lee's arm or not, he turns. And at that point was about an hour or two after he got bit. Because remember, he got bit in the first season. He got bit and right outside the house when he found Clemens hat outside the house and the zombie clipped him in his arm or whatever. And from that point, when he went to the basement of the old, the I won't say the old, but the, the old, the, the, the elderly and disabled people in the basement of and that whatever, that place, that underground place where the the where the cremate, the what do you call that place where you put dead bodies and you cremate them and whatnot, or you just store it's like a like a like a morgue or whatever. That's where they, that's where you decide to either cut off Lee's arm or leave it. Now, whether if he cut his arm off or not, he turned like he, you know, he's, you know, the infection rate, the infection spread it through his body, basically. So the same thing should have happened to Clem. She was clearly getting pale when she was turning and whatnot. And like I said, from the time she got bit until the sun was up, that's at least an hour or two. And it was, it was in the dead of the night. So that was, that's at least two hours. So I found a plot hole. Like they left Clem alive for the sake of keeping her alive for the game or whatever, as far as the writers go. But that's a that's a really big plot hole. She should have turned. Um. So that's my only big argument with uh, this this game. But the, you know these games are good for stories and things like that. And uh, but like yeah, pretty good storytelling. Just like any game, it's, it's a Telltale's game. It's not really meant for action or whatnot. And I've always loved these games. They're just a different type of gaming. You know, it's not just sitting back and mashing buttons or killing this or killing that and things like that. Like, there's no difficulty here. It's just a story-based game. Click and play. Kind of like that Detroit, Detroit Become Humans, another recent one. Um, same thing with, go, with uh, what's that guy? What's that guy? Breaking Dawn? Something Dawn. Not Breaking Dawn. Something Dawn. Until Dawn. There we go. It's a story-based game. It's not meant for action or whatnot. A uh, storytelling game where your decisions decide the outcome. Uh, I've always loved these type of games. 
you know, just sit back and just play a game and just commentary and whatnot. Just, you know. So with that said, once again, thank you, Skybound, for making the game. And thankfully, the game finished, given the uh, circumstances that happened with them on a personal note. They, uh, if anybody doesn't know, um, I can't remember the name of the office, but Skybound or the Telltales, that people, the people that were making this game, um, I forget what happened for, like, word for word but they basically went through like a bunch of them quit or something because it was a it was a lot of complaints about like working conditions and things like that so uh that's why this game took so long to finish or come out but i guess they either finished it or they just released it later because you know staffing and whatnot that this game should have been finished in december i think if memory serves right i'll look at some extras real quick while we're talking about this oh wait i really really looked at this right Yeah, we've, we've, we've seen this at the, at the end of our episode. We don't need to look at that. Whoa. What the hell? What is happening? Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. They were going through some stuff, so... A lot of the fans, such as myself, we thought that they, the game was basically just going to be just un incompleted. And they were just going to leave it at, as is. Just unfinished and just dangling above water. So, I'm glad they finished it. And on a, and, and on, on a selfless note, I hope that everybody in Skybound's office or The Walking Dead or the people that make this, made this game, the developer, or everything goes good on their end personally as far as a, as a worker worker or whatever but anyway uh thank you all for tuning in really appreciate it and uh everybody watching on youtube see you want to see you.